One type of reptile has evolved to thrive in drought. Dinosaurs like this Coelophysis can survive on very little water. She is also light boned. As have swallowed, help grind their food down so that bacteria ferment it and release nutrients. A seven-ton male Stegosaurus. He too is a herbivore, but very dangerous. The large plates on his back are primarily there for display. It is the meter-long spikes on his tail that make him so lethal. These he can wield with devastating effect, despite having a very small brain for his body size. tons of dinosaur are on the move. Hundreds of mouths are searching for a fresh place to satisfy their enormous appetites. A polycanthus lags behind to gorge on conifers and become separated from the herd. The Utoraptors soon reappear, tails held rigid for balance. But the Polacanthus displays his formidable defenses. For a predator, there are far easier meals nearby. Lielanosaura is a dinosaur that has adapted to this extreme climate. A polar allosaur, a summer visitor from warmer lands to the north. These unusual calls herald the arrival of huge herds of Mutabarasaurus from the north. For the last two months, they have been migrating 800 kilometers down the coast of Australia following the sun to the south. These di dinosaur that specializes in defense is the extraordinary Ankylosaurus. They are evolved to withstand attack even from giant predators like Tyrannosaurus. At seven tons, Ankylosaurus are so heavily armored that it's creating vivid patterns. These displays are designed to avoid physical contact. With one meter long horns, fighting can easily result in bad injuries. The best and the brightest display crest is usually all that is needed to settle arguments. So. His cautious approach is watched by the Tyrannosaurus. She judges exactly when he has got too close. Huge batteries of chewing teeth make short work of the vegetation. A Pranocephaly. 
She's seen them before. She knows what they taste like. <laughs> But it's not working. And just as docile. But the intruders enrage this herd's leader. He'll protect his harem with his life. The old male is a combat veteran. But he'd just as soon be elsewhere. A shuvia is pecking the bark of a dead tree in search of grubs. Armed with a killing claw on his second toe and high torque legs, this is Pyroraptor Olympius, Pod for short. Pod's deal is not about size, it's about smarts. Tarascosaurs are southern Europe's dominant predators. Berries and greens provide the Orodromius with organic octane. In the fast and furious world of dinosaurs, these are the roadrunners. While life is good in the upland community, the local residents carry on their own version of Neighborhood Watch. If Orodromius are roadrunners, Troodons are the coyotes. And yes, they're wily too. When evolution passed out the stealth gene, the Troodons lucked out. By the time you see one, Adolescent Myosaurus, like Buck and Blaze, will grow to the size of dump trucks. Playmates born in the same season, they become late Cretaceous juvenile delinquents. It's the mother of the pack. Hyneosaurs are vegetarians with attitudes. The very sight of little Das sends these two-ton browsers packing. These titans, called saltosaurs, have been on the move for weeks. All of them are females. Generations of mothers and daughters, sisters and aunts. They're heading for their nesting ground in a ritual as old as time. Killers are on the loose. An Alcasaur is a ton of terror with an something nastier, hungrier, and three times bigger. The Carcara Dontosaurs. It's the bird-like Alvarosaurus. The sharp-eyed predators lust for eggs. So does the crocodile, Notosuchus. At five feet long, one chomp, and it's bye-bye baby. Ankisaurus is a plant eater. Although it walks on all fours, it spends most of its time on its hind legs browsing in the trees. A claw on its thumb is its only protection. Finding water is critical for Dryosaurus. Her offspring are less than a year old. They've never experienced a drought. Today... Ceratosaurus is the last of its kind, but more dangerous than ever. In the days to come, herds of sauropods will scour the landscape. But for now, 
is one tree at a time. This is Dino of the Flintstones in the flesh, all 30 tons. It may have the claws of a killer, but its long neck and small head belong to a plant eater. This is Nothronicus in his prime. The challenge is to entice a female into mating. Horns and frills evolved to scare off predators and discourage rivals. So is the T-Rex. The herd of Ornithomimus are running scared. see them flap their wings. This isn't powered flight, but they are superb gliders. It's a great way to keep above ground predators, a great way to cover vast areas looking for food. I researched these back at Prehistoric Park and like Microraptors. Albertosaurus are early ancestors of T-Rex. Parasaurolophus, they're hadrosaurs. That was a common group at the end of the late Cretaceous. They've got these duck bills for grinding. Lately, you got big feet, just give them a kick. Hundreds of tourists were forced to flee the scene, but fortunately there have been no reports of injuries. What? Now that's what I call timing!
to Treasure Island! <laughs> You weigh 17 tons and you can't even move a little rock like this one out of the way? Put your tibiotarsis into it! mark on its forehead. Spiny monster, run for your life! Stop doing that! Enough! Can we try it? Yes? Shiri de Baba!
Batarkia was no wimp and could use its tail club to cripple or kill an attacker. Up ahead are two Chasmosaurus, large ceratopsid herbivores. They have horns and are too large for him to take on. Thank goodness for that. Endless reptile, he must be over 40 feet long. And he'll be a real threat to the herd when they come up. It's not the herd I'm looking for, I'm pretty certain. These are a kind of iguanodon. But these are very successful dinosaurs. The Majungatholus male continues his dance to try to entice her, but she will not respond. She continues in an aggressive posture. Senses on high alert. The two the move. Tons of rolling thunder consuming everything in its path. Direction the Utah Raptor is coming from. So he turns broadside to his attack. This tired the victim and made it easier to kill. Alerted to the present. <laughs> Titans are gigantic, lumbering plant eaters. Their size keeps the adults safe. <laughs> Rugob's speed wins the day. It has pieces of bone armor that are embedded in the skin. And it's going to stand there. Weight is your best defense. Gaining weight is serious business. So Sora Poseidon does away with time-consuming tasks, like chewing. If you could just swallow that stuff and let your giant stomach... Just bats here, known as the Hypsilophodon beds, and almost a hundred skeletons of these animals are known from there. It's opening our eyes to the fact that there were dinosaurs that were, in essence, Mesozoic cows. We think about cows. As is so often the case. A pass 
Missing Rapidosaurus and the promise of an easy lunch lure Rahul Navis from his safe perch. the bufo, also known as the devil frog. Predators like sign raptor can sense weakness. You might want to do a little stretch and, you know, get those hamstrings nice and loose, just in case you decide to do some... <laughs> it looks like a cross between a turkey and a watermelon. <laughs> Yangosaurus, another member of the Stegosaurians. It's, it's kind of derpy. <laughs> oh, I got an extra chin. <laughs> oh my god. I know this one. An herbivore called Chunkingosaurus. Can you guess where it was first found? <laughs> Don't tell me scientists don't have a sense of humor. Oh god, the dynamic is there. Okay, Dr. Dua tells me that this dinosaur of yours, the Metriacanthosaurus, is a bit of a mystery. Maybe we can learn more about it as a result of your work. Yeah, that's creepy looking. That's an Archaeornithomimus. I don't like the way they look. And I don't just mean their appearance, but also the way they look at me. Oh god, it's muffled. Now that you've given Dr. Duo what she wants, let's take care of my real agenda. 
an enormous spine lizard, or gigant spinosaurus. Not as large as its cousins, but with impressive shoulder spines, clearly for defense. Dreadnoughtus was one of the largest terrestrial creatures to have ever lived. While it's known as the fears nothing dinosaur, I would still keep it away from the Indominus Rex. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> this is looking so confused. Like Pro Ceratosaurus, you'd think this dinosaur was related to the later Ceratosaurus, and you'd be wrong. It is in fact related to the Tyrannosaurus, and not quite as impressive as either, if you ask me. Huh? 